1947 Jacobson uh, Estate Lawnmower. Did a lot of painting, straightening, and powder coating, and blade sharpening, and uh, the engine was in good shape. There was some miscellaneous stuff, some old flathead heads, and then I saw the Jacobson mower, which I didn't even know what it was at that time, just shoved over in a corner. And I was like, hmm, we'll check it out. It's kind of neat. Looking at the back of it and thought the seat was kind of cool. And then I walked around the front and saw that cast iron hood on it. Gorgeous freaking cast iron grill. And so that was the first thing I did was make a new tooth and silver solder that in. Ripping her apart down to every freaking nut and screw. And I found a vintage nut and bolt place where I could get square headed bolts and nuts to replace the ones that were rounded off. And, and uh, the fun part was figuring out how to spot weld the uh, uh, grass shield deflector that was rusted out and I made her do one of those. So. Powder coat, some, some powder coat, some uh, paint? Yeah, that's paint there. Uh, that was all pop rid of it together. I had to fill up holes and weld cracks and that's ready to go. Uh, making gaskets, I had, I had uh, I bought gasket material. I had bought cork for making new cork gaskets. Uh, Fun. <laughs> there wasn't much available for it, was there? No, there was nothing available. Rebuilding the engine. <laughs> Scored piston, reused it. But the outside dimensions were perfect and the board of the cylinder or the cylinder or piston the cylinder clearance was great, so I decided to go with it. Uh, tear down. Uh, actually the Muffler and uh, expansion chamber have been rebuilt. The sulky was an option. The uh, standard was two drive wheels, and the option was four drive wheels with drive wheels, which this one has. I had some coils from an old uh, lot light where I used to work, and they took all the old lot lights down, and they had some transformers up there. And, set up a thing that, where I could re-magnetize the flywheel magnets. Out there and check the polarity of the magnets and the polarity of the flywheels and reverse them so plus equals minus and so anyhow, fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs>